Unajua hujui. Toxic is gonna grill me. Oh yeah. What up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast, the Vinyl Space podcast, where we talk about anything DJs, culture, club, and we have royalty in the house. We'll get to that in a second. I'm the OG. And I go by the name DJ Joe Flex, a.k.a. Mr. Greatness. Z Toxic is my name. I go by the name Sashere Tomani. It's all about flowers. You know how we do, eh? Mm. Our guest. You we have our special our guest for the night. Let's go. Not your ordinary DJ. Not your ordinary. Yes, DJ. My name is DJ Livni. Uh-huh. Mm. Welcome Thank to the you. podcast. And the Hizzo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome. She's the first female DJ we have on board. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So it's actually I'm not your ordinary. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> nice to have uh, to have a female energy in the, in the house mm. because. For the past few episodes, it's been a sausage fest in here. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, let's soften the thing up a mm, little bit. Yeah. And then today we are delighted to have the beautiful, talented, wow. all right, representing the two five four DJ. Listening, come on, give me that. Welcome, welcome. Actually, actually, Lizney really amazes me because. I, I don't get how she she looks so young and she just turned that is uh, 65 <laughs> <laughs> as you were saying the way by the way we always turn sweet 16 now I'm 21 forever this is her birthday yeah yeah it was her birthday last week yeah the last week ah, yeah oh. Oh. where's my gift happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Oh man, had, had we known we would have gotten the cake, uh, you know, yeah. something. Slip. Something. Yeah, no, no for, for real, I'm serious because my, my, my lady yeah. is, is a baker. Oh. So, you know, we could, and you know what she does? Mm-hmm. Boozy cupcakes. What? I don't know if you drink or not, but you know, she has those little pipettes. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of a shot of alcohol in uh-huh. it. And then, you know, she with, with the cupcake, <laughs> with the, and then she she puts the thing in there, and then you could either infuse yeah. it in the cupcake or you eat it, and then you take a shot. Wow, I don't that. drink. <laughs> even, yeah, <laughs> even even talking about it, you uh, don't drink. No, I don't drink at all. But, drink uh, alcohol, you don't drink just alcohol. don't drink. I, I just drink uh, champagne, <laughs> champagne and uh, and, and wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm the OG. OG, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should try, you should try Oshoro, you know. <laughs> Nini Oshoro, Oshoro, Nini is is some some, you know, how do I put it? It's this Kikui wine. Uh-huh. Fermented. They're fermented. Yeah, I, I know. I, I... <laughs> Let's go. Uji wine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, no, so so yeah. if it's if it's Uji, I have tried Uji. Yeah. Now I love that thing, bro. It's the fermented one, like mm-hmm. the uh, yeah. you know, you put it in the sun and stuff, and it yeah. is. Just, oh, bro. So you, 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 you've never. Had I've never had ever, that before. Anyway, uh, you, first, you, you first, mean, first time ever was last year. So even open like a kibanda somewhere in New York City, I'm in business. Nah, they don't do stuff like that. <laughs> 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 no one has that. Was, yeah, that's what's the great, you know, chicken and waffle, you know, uh, what do you call it? Oatmeal. Yeah, no one has ever played a show on you. Yeah, but show Played a show on you. How do you guys are bullshitting right now? How's your week been? Uh, hey man, my, my week was amazing. Uh-huh. Uh, I had I attended this event. Uh, this actually a couple of days ago. Yeah. It was um, a guitar, uh-huh. a guitar maker's uh, day uh, to exhibit his creations. He's oh. a, he's he's he's, uh, he's a luthier. Uh-huh. You know, a guitar maker is a luthier. Yeah. Yeah. So he repairs and makes guitars. So he had this event. He invited a. Uh, a few schools from the Nairobi area and you know there was a performance you know and, and all that type of stuff mm. and it, it was amazing that's, they were you know there was any from five-year-olds yeah. to 
I think the oldest was like 75. You have oh. sessions like playing? Music? Yeah, exactly. So oh, nice. the guitar, nice. piano, singers. Nice. It was amazing. It was a wholesome, uh, you know, family family type of affair. It was great, you know. That's, that's good. And of course, you know, the, the usual, you know, uh, workout session, that's which I'm still waiting for you guys to join in. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually <laughs> waiting for you to <laughs> touch <Wow, niggas. laughs> Okay, you know what? My bad, because you know. Yeah, I've been waiting for. I gotta send you the uh, the protocol. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. How about you, Tozi? How's your week? Um, definitely. Come on, Kawaida, we came to fit in. Just that uh, we had that some few issues at my apartment, and uh-huh. an exhaust service lorry. But we can go. You don't go for life. Uh, yeah. Where do you live? I wash. This guy. Oh, yeah, how about you, Chomani? How's your week, bro? I'm being good, being good. Uh-huh. Um, working. Growing new babies. Yeah, you have hey. to. You know what I mean? You have to. So you have to. That's what's up. Yeah, man. So good. You gotta keep the ball rolling, man. Yeah. yeah. Growing the beard, you know. It's it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> My week has been good too. Yeah. Yeah, nothing much. What what'd you uh, do? Did you play anywhere? No, 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 I didn't play. I was on some other business. Mm-hmm. Actually today I came complaining with him in the car and I was like, dude, I'm tired of people in Nairobi. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, man. Uh, is it the club scene just, or is just it uh, for the clients? You know, yeah. you know how it goes. You know, you oh, are these clients for the for the design work? Yeah, for uh, the design work uh, yeah. and branding. So that's what I've been to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, from this weekend now we we get back on gigs. There you go. Till next month. Nice. Yeah. Wow. wow. Awesome, man. So uh, anyway, enough about ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know, we are the Vinyl Space podcast Mm -hmm. we're not here to talk about ourselves so much we're here to honor our guest a beautiful guest of honor Mm -hmm. dj motherfucking listening yeah (laughs) all right and the his representative 254 yeah i know dj is uh is is really a male dominated field right yeah as a female dj how how do you see yourself fitting into the the space and without letting, you know, these dudes kind of like, nah, she's just a chick, push her to the side. How do you how do you deal with that? Uh, by how fast how I present myself. Uh, then again, I actually don't even compete with the females. Eh? I compete with the male because I feel like a DJ is a DJ, a doctor is a doctor. So as much as it's a male dominated uh, industry, I still work hard like the male and I take my position as well. Boom. And she yeah. talks about That's it. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Presentation. Uh, she said presentation. You should right. see how she. Hey, how she presents herself. Oh, and she. Who Dunga? I have seen. You even know when you need a pool in Starbucks, but uh, I had. Uh, I was afraid of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, she she came on. And for you know, for those of you watching right now, you know, it's not hot mm. in Nairobi at the mm-hmm. moment. No. I mean, you think? I mean, even for me, you know, when I I'm like, yo, I'm coming. You know, I'm in Africa, so t-shirts and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's cold up here. Yeah, it's it's cool. cold. yeah so especially where we are right now. Yeah, yeah, it gets yeah. It gets really cold. Yeah. But 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 anyway, I I, I digress. So um. In terms of DJing, right, uh, you, when when did you start exactly? When did you start DJing? Mm, I started in 2017, uh, but I would say professionally 2018, mm-hmm. uh, because I was just trying. I was just trying. So you I, weren't taking it seriously? Other stars, no. Uh, but I, I, I knew I'll do it. Okay. Somehow, somewhere, I was just... Mm. A bit confused i was just trying it because uh in school growing up i never thought i would be a dj in fact i didn't know who a dj is <laughs> so <laughs> when later is when i decided to, to now join the dj industry so i was just trying my life okay yeah. that's nice so uh yeah uh nico lise nico lise yeah nico lise um so so now you basically you got into it but you yes. weren't even serious about it so what 
then was your inspiration? Who who did you look up to as DJs as you start getting serious about it? Actually, my journey is um, very different from what I tell people. Normally, I tell people it's passion, it's what, but my my secret is how I joined DJ. I I was doing business. Um, then I started. Uh, what do you call it? Investing in sound system events. So I started doing events. So that year on 2017, one of um, a friend approached me to do an event, uh, 2017, New Year's Eve. And he was like, because you have system and all that, we can partner together and do a big gig. I was like, fine, we can do it. Then now we, we started looking for DJs because now I was the sponsor for the event. Right. So when we look for the DJ, we couldn't find like many female DJs. There were like three known female DJs right then. So I was like, okay, uh, contact her. The amount she quoted. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe I'm paying her for one hour. To... I couldn't believe. Like I saw it the whole year, then she wants to earn that money. In oh my God. She said, hour. wait wait a minute, why would I yes, pay her? Then I was oh, like, are you serious? I can do it. Is that what Please, you make? Uh, is that what you make? And then she was like, I'll be available only for one hour. Whoa, oh, yes. okay. Excuse I me. Know. So mm. I was like, are you serious? Can we call these other top DJs? I just want to hear their story. Most of them actually the rate was around there and right. they were like I can play one hour, two hours. Right. In fact, New Year's they're supposed to double my price. Hey, right. you know what? Right. So in my head I was like, Oh, I think these people are making money. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're making money. So, I could not say the whole year. And then I just pay them for one month. So right. for me, I went into DJing for business. Since you were be a shara lady, ah. right? You be a shara. Since you were be a shara lady, so you decided, ha ha, yeah. there's money in this thing. So yeah. then you pivoted. So now, are you, are you still doing the sound uh, system? Uh, yes, thing? I'm still doing it. Uh, it's called a lead sound. If I uh, can advertise yeah, myself. Yeah. What's it called? Yeah. It's called a lead sound. Lead sound. Yes. Link in the description below. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, so it has actually actually expanded a lot, and yeah, cool. That's the question. So, well, yeah. sound, uh, sound, lights, yeah. stage, stage uh, smoke machines, all those. If whole. you want a big concert, you go. Hey. Hey. I saw oh, the like that. Really so, cool. yeah. yeah, you know them. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, there's a time to go. Not disco, but tango. One liar. Ukweli. Bana. Baya. Chapo. Chapo. Now they did the WRC, right? Yeah, we did the WRC. WRC. Um, yeah. Um, I actually we did IBC. Oh, that's big. Yes. That's I mean, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, excuse yeah. me. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, we need some new lights in here, some cameras. You know, <laughs> you know we don't need anything. That's really uh, nice yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Nothing, you know, yeah. just, yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah. two million. Mm. Mm. It's, it's a small, much. a little token, you mm. know. <laughs> that's amazing, man, because, yeah. you know, I admire the 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 level of, uh, 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 um, the level of business acumen that you had. You saw that you got into actually you got into the DJ industry. For, I guess we say through the side door. Yeah. You know, you yeah, you were messing around. Okay, I can beat match. I can do this. I can do that. But it was fun. Yeah. And then you got into business, sound system, and then et cetera, et cetera. And then, yeah. then you realize, okay, we need a DJ for a New Year's Eve event. Excuse me, how much? <laughs> you know. Nah. Then you realize okay. how much yeah. they were making. Yeah. Then you decided to take it seriously. Yeah. And that's amazing. So yeah. now what what happened? Because now you say 2017, 2018. Now the pandemic hit. What happened then? Now I decided because I've seen money, I decided to give it my best. So I looked for I had friends. In fact, he's one of my trainers. Now, now listening is always literally like Mwani mwa DJ, hapa ni wapi? Mwani mwa mwa DJ, hapa ni wapi? Yeah, so I I look for the DJ friends. Mm. Uh, remember, I'd already invested in sound system as well. So I had DJs that were working for me by then. So I told them, look, I need to be the best. Yeah. I'm not going to school. I want, I want to be the best. You're not going to be so like, uh, from morning to name? evening, you're with me. Right. You're not going to be like, what's the name? I mean, uh, 
Paris Hilton. You know, in some playback stuff. Yeah, pre-recorded mixes. <laughs> so you actually, you actually mix. You, you're not one of those uh, yeah. <laughs> pre-recorded mixes, and then you're pumping your fist up in the air. And then you, you actually DJ, you know, you learn the craft. Yes, I wanted to learn it because mm. now I want to be the best. So I took time. I, I witnessed that. Right. I witnessed how I yeah. <laughs> I should bring that story. <laughs> we have a story. Yeah. Please, please, bring it, bring it, bring it. No, that one, yeah. I, I will bring it later. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I started training. I really did my best. Then right. I knew for me to get out there. I need to market myself. So I started looking for gigs by myself. Wow. So I remember my first gig. I I, I went online actually first and changed my name to DJ Lizney. Right. So my family what was, was like, name? Yes, oh, that was your, oh, your, that was my first names. name. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Lizney. Why Lizney though? Right. Yeah, what's the story what's behind the story that? Behind the name? Actually, in high school, mm -hmm. somebody called me Lizney. Oh, why did you? Why did, why did My name is Linda. What? I don't know because I loved Disney or what, but some, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, <laughs> somehow, yeah, 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 they just connected. Mm. Then right. you remember those times that you're writing letters. Mm. Then, uh, yeah, mm. Lizney came back. Uh, so okay. I decided to use it. Okay. So when I decided now I want to be a DJ, oh, let me take you back, Kidogo. Uh, before before I changed uh, my name and all that, there's a time I was doing business in town in Moy Avenue, and I used to I used to sell movies, uh, oh, mixes. Yeah. So that was my first business. Yeah. Hey, we're not Moy involved Avenue. in that business, right? <laughs> yes, Asla <laughs> Nation. People <laughs> don't know these things. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. I so think I was the very DVDs. first. Yes, right. I was the very first people to duplicate. Mm -hmm. uh, the I think we're moving this. We're moving this too fast. Sorry. All right. You know, I hear a lot of people talking, um, or maybe talking down yeah. on on female DJs, right? Or maybe for, out of their success, yeah. failing to understand these people have got things that they've been but, doing even mm, before you got to know right. that. Yeah. So you just there think that you know Lizzie, yeah. but yeah. you know, she's been around for a minute. Oh, yeah. 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 People don't know that part, but <laughs> sometimes I meet people who are like, hey, Kuna news their movie we have and I'm like yes it was me and they're like how oh, have you become this famous we are arguing then my journey uh in school I did finance mm -hmm. I did I did accounts I did a lot of things in accounts but I didn't want to be employed eight to five mm -hmm. I knew I went to school to do business so that I can do business myself you, you so I wanted to employ people not to be employed there you go. so I was I was uh, my family was so against it because they were like hey you, you are the best in maths in our family. <laughs> We've taken you to the best schools. We've done this. Now you have a degree. Mm. You have this uh, CPK. You have all this. We, we now need to get you a job. I'm like, no. It's not going to happen. No. So no, they would have no, been I happy want... to see you at a bank or uh, Exactly. So they were firm. sending me those interviews. I, I, I didn't go. <laughs> Actually, for heights now, the, you're good in maths. Money more maths. I'm happy. Hey, hey, hey. Now, uh, I told them, just get me a small business to start with. Right. From there, I will push myself. Hey. Of course, my dad, my family, they were like, no. But now my bro believes in me. I sat him down. I told him, look, there's this new thing about duplicating CDs. Yeah. I think it was just one shop in Nairobi that was doing that for movies. Wow. I remember taking my friend to a shop. Mm -hmm. We had to queue to get a CD. No way. I was like, this guy is making a lot of money. Yeah. So why can't I do it? So I went and talked to my bro. Then he opened a shop for me. But... When he did, uh, opening a shop in Nairobi is not by the way so easy and it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, he paid the rent and the deposit right. and the goodwill. Mm -hmm. And uh, the goodwill. Pesa yeah. mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and I'm there, I'm so passionate about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, keep going. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I went to that shop. Uh -huh. Nilikuwa na buy CD kama kumi. 
nenda na duplicate mm-hmm. kwangu na uza wow and in a span of one year mm-hmm. i think i had like seven movie shops in that we had oh, so yeah so at some point you had seven shops mm-hmm. within more, one year uh, m- within a year in moy yes. avenue and Jeez, opening a shop in moy avenue it's not cheap mm-hmm. you have crazy. to pay goodwill <laughs> right that right good will a figure Yeah, what's our figure? A good will was between uh I think 300,000 to 500 yeah. depending on the location. Right. You just pay that one off and then you start paying rent, Ooh. which is around I think 50. That's crazy. Yes, That's then you crazy. build the shop. Plus you have to that. buy the, uh, the, du- the duplicators. Yeah. Did you yes. have the multiple uh, duplicators or Yes. Uh, now I became so famous that my shop, eh, it's the one now that was the distributor in Nairobi. Oh. If you want to start selling in no more in what? Yeah. Just call me in the morning, you get them ready. You just go and sell. There. Anyway, that's the journey there. Mm. That time that I was uh, selling those CDs I remember uh, DJ Lighter. Right. Lighter. Lighter. Mm-hmm. Hot Grandma. Hot Grandma. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember that that CD I played it a whole month continuous from morning to evening. Nilikuwa na katu hivi. Lighter. Customer ilikuwa inaanza Lighter. Uma ye. You remember? Yes. I think I I made more money with that CD because hata nilikuwa nimezeka na ready. When you come just hundred for go. Go. They were just ready. Oh. So then I met other DJs who now knew that my shop is the distributor so they could bring a lot of mixes. Mm. Then I asked them by the way where do you guys make these mixes and all that. They told me there is a studio just behind Apo to Moy Avenue. Mm, yeah. I go and check. I went there. I actually took a picture and the decks were opposite. <laughs> like I was standing on the opposite side. And I sent to my family I told them I would want to be a DJ. That's on Arim. Tulichoma. Dogo tumekusomesha ukaanza kuuza movie mbili yake. Tukavumilia. Tukavumilia. Okay. Sasa sasa ni kwa ba unataka kwa. Niliambiwa zima hiyo kitu. My dad was like never ever stop. I think you've shown us enough stop it. I even and deleted that photo. What? I was yeah. like sour. So when well, later is when now I started investing in events and all that. Yeah. And now this 2017, I hear what they are earning. Mm. I I'm like my family doesn't know what they are telling. <laughs> I'm like this thing I'll go for it. This time round I'll not post pictures. Mm, there you go. I will I will just block them, mm-hmm. but I'll not post pictures. Yeah. So when I trained and I finished I changed all my names online. Right. So I called my pro I told him listen me I want to sit you down. I want us to let's talk. Strategize. I told him now my business here is doing so well and now I've employed people. I need another business for me and what I feel now I want to do is this DJ. Hey. It's like I utaweza yeah. kweli. <laughs> I'm like I promise you nitaweza. Mm. I'll do it. Mm. He told me train then. I finished. Yeah. I went out to look for gigs. I knew because they don't know me. Right. First I will have to to showcase what I have. Yeah. So I saw a page. Now I started following the female DJs that I know. I started following all the DJs. Mm-hmm. I started checking what they are doing, where they are playing, all that. So I went to one of the pages. I saw there is a concert. I sent them a DM. I told them, "Hey, look. I'm a DJ." Uh, I know I'm, I'm 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 not so good but I'm good but I also have crowd and I want to play in your event they're like we don't have budget I told them I don't need don't your budget <laughs> yeah. I, need I just want to come and play mm. they're like are you sure I told them yes wow they told me okay fine send pictures Pull I up. didn't even have uh, photos for the poster <laughs> <laughs> next day morning I was in studio wow. taking photos photo shoot mm. yes yeah, so it. I, they did a poster they sent to me. Mm. Now I sent my brother telling him I already have a gig. <laughs> He's like how much have you charged? I'm like you relax. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. Yeah, don't worry about the money. Eh, you know this fast fast uh, gigs you don't negotiate a lot. Mm. So you relax. Mm-hmm. Um, first let me put my name there. He right. told me I think um 
uko na bidii sana mm-hmm. so i'll support you where's the gig i'll take you mm-hmm. i think we need to shout out shout yeah, out shout yeah. out yeah. 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 martin felix yeah. 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 has helped my heart man shout out shout out yeah he's the coolest guy yeah so now uh, i knew I have no experience I haven't played anywhere and I don't want to embarrass myself mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I knew I'm not so good remember I've just trained two weeks right and I'm already oh. looking for gig you trained for two weeks and you're not Only, doing a concert and I have Wait, a so who, who, was concert. First, who was the first yes. teacher was uh, DJ Joe Flex your first uh, it was, uh, no it was uh, DJ Isneb yeah. shout out Isneb Isneb you yeah, yeah. yeah. Isneb and Groovik yes mm. yes they were my first trainers mm. So I even told uh, I even told his name wewe nipangie ngoma vizuri nimetacheza mimi ni kurusha 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 please panga are you talking about two weeks not two months yes, two weeks, weeks. I'm weeks. telling you two weeks wow but i knew this thing i must do it so i i wow. I, I, i called my cousin i i, I told her kuna hii gig na lazima ni shine kuna jua sitawaicheza tena na nisipo shine no. kuna ma DJ wengine hapo na jembara <laughs> akaniambia nikamwambia come home mm. we we rehearse nini nini kila kitu so we rehearsed everything mm. then i told them um 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 uh, to come and support me so i told everybody i marketed the concert <laughs> like it's mine yours yeah i'm headline i everybody. told everybody yeah. my first gig you cannot miss mm-hmm. pull up sasa hiyo ulipwi pull up happy na sasa hiyo na wadanganya ndo wasione kama nafanya kitu inaitwa kukula exposure <laughs> you think it's exactly. yeah exactly trade by exposure <laughs> we went to the gig uh-huh. Now the first DJ who was playing alikuwa like among the veteran ladies so she knows what she is doing. Ha, zile wimbo nimepangiwa amecheza. Sote, everything. Now I'm seated in my corner. Those are the only songs that I know. Yeah. The hit songs. I don't know anything else and I must shine. <laughs> I I called her a small meeting I called my brother and my cousin so I don't want these other people to know I told them hey those songs That's are the list. ones that I know my playlist is gone my playlist is gone what do we do I even started shaking in there like no we came because of you just do the just do whatever yeah, you do. just better do it right in badala wewe ucheze ngoma zingine zenye ujui vibaya just play this one that you know you're good at yeah. right. just do it yes. Yes. we'll support you mm. i'm like eh cool i'm telling you my friend the confidence that i walked in there <laughs> even the other DJs were like eh, who, who is, is this one <laughs> <this girl? laughs> na luku <laughs> hey <laughs> luku <laughs> nilikuwa nimepiga police Hey. Yes, story. Is Nikaingia hapo confidence. I remember I was told confidence. Yeah. Confidence and do whatever do it. Mm. Listen yeah. to that question. I stepped in there. Mm. Ah, you couldn't believe I don't know a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody was up they were like, "Ah, who is that DJ? Who is that DJ?" Mm-hmm. And that's how my journey started. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, I give it up for the history guys. Okay, good one. Hey, yeah. That's a good one. Shout out to the you DJ who played all those songs. Shout out to you man. Shout out to Lemana Fiti. Yeah, it goes to show you man like yeah. confidence goes a long way. Mm. As a long long way. you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. You're confident. Mm. It'll it'll translate. But if you if you showed up you were timid, you were shy. Yeah. People were like, "Who who is this chick?" Yeah. You know. I believe it. Even, if, even how you walk even if it's a police station yeah. you walk in with confidence they're like hey so how can yeah. we help you yeah. but if you're there like this uh, your team in your watch oh yeah they they they're just going to walk all over it. like a, 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 a little story something i i used to do uh back in the day wherever i, I was invited to uh to any event uh, even though i have a pass right yeah. cuz usually you put it here you there's a clip or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. i usually put it in my pocket i still i still have it but i like to fuck with bouncers right <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, i'm walking into the joint you know and like it was going like hey what's up you know yeah. like i own the place you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. and the security boom grab me and was like this a pass i'm like This my past nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and I could walk away. Yeah. Who's like exactly who's this guy? Who's this? This, yeah. this much confidence. <laughs> this he must be, you know, I mean exactly. I'm like, Yeah, sure. That's it pass. Mm. 
<laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> but you know that was a great story, man. You you came Compact. first gig, you came, you conquered. Mm. So conquered. now, what happened after that? After that first gig? No, after that, I knew that I can do it. I knew that it's not hard. I I started now marketing myself seriously. Nice. So the way people in Kenya say that exposure does not pay for me, it pays. Mm. I used to go where DJs are playing. I'm like, hey, I'm a DJ. Can I please uh, open for you? Or can I please, after you're done, give me like five, ten minutes. Right. I'll just showcase. Anytime I step up there, the next time, uh, maybe the owner or the manager will be like, who is that girl? Can we give her a gig? Boom. That's how I started getting gigs. Hey, that's how you... I... DJs, DJs, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Land that. <laughs> <laughs> since you could be here to market a killer wakai, at the way, you say it, you could fit it, but you could do it. Nah. There are other ways that you fascinate yeah. or impress. People, people need, need to, to know you. Mami, I'm going to tell you. But let me tell you, I think when you need... Uh, first people need to know you yeah, yeah. and they need to know you're good mm. yeah. so if you have no place to showcase that you're good yeah. you'll die there with your yeah, talent that's true. True. and true. then you're just sitting at home oh I can't do it for free I'm so good and nobody knows nobody you're knows. so good yeah, that's true. you may be yeah. the best in the world if nobody knows about nobody you knows. nobody knows yeah but I... luckily nowadays there's social media you can yeah, no, but still, I think, things, I think yeah. it's, it's actually better before you start asking for the money, you have to get the relevant experience. Yeah. You know, you have to know how to present yourself to a club. You know, you have to know how to play. What time, what do you play? Yeah. Because most DJs right now, you know, you come from an academy, you have money, you bought a pair of decks. So you just think you get a poster and get into the club. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. There's a lot that, that, that can be done. You know, like, like, like she said, just mm -hmm. sorry for cutting you. Yeah. Um, how you present yourself first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because maybe how, first, how you presented yourself to this guest DJ or how she presented herself to this DJ, mm -hmm. they felt like, ah, to a chance. Yeah. So, and besides a marketer and anyone that you know, mm -hmm. if you, you get a chance for someone to give you a chance for you yeah. to play, whether opening set or closing set, mm -hmm. you find yourself in a much better position because probably directors are just seated there. Exactly. Yeah. Listening. So, yeah. exactly. you don't even have to go through the marketer mm -hmm. or the yeah. DJ. Mm -hmm. The directors right. themselves, they'll be like, we like that yeah, yeah. Yes. How about you start working? So, the approach of the business mm -hmm. matters really a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Matters a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Actually, one of the ways uh, we support a bill to a club is mm -hmm. to have confidence. We have a t-shirt. How much? so uh disney you you've been through uh this journey yeah you've done your first gigs two weeks into the industry just apart from business what other influences uh play a role in in your career I think mostly what I learned in school, I really apply it yeah. now because I did business. So yeah. for me, DJing is business. Yeah. So when it comes to marketing, I know how to market myself uh. because I learned that when I come to branding, yeah. I know how to brand myself. Like my brand, I'll yes. build it from scratch yes. to where it, it mm. is now. Mm. So I think the biggest role is... Uh, uh, my decree, the one that I did. Okay. Yeah, that one has really helped me to, to to shape myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as uh you you've done it, you've made your name. Yeah. The place where you are. Who are the people that you look up to? I look up to my bro. Uh huh. Hey. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> one, bro. That's a good that's one. A good I bro. I yeah. look up to him. Uh, he's not in. He's not a DJ. Yeah. But trust you me, he watches over me. Uh -huh. I, I, he watches over me. And he's that one person yeah. who really works hard. So I work hard. Uh, I also work hard yeah. eh? so that I don't let him down. I promised him that when I get to this DJ, uh -huh. I will be I the will best. Be so anytime I do even something wrong, I might try and post something funny on social media. Yeah. He's the first one. Pull that down. Yeah. I'm like, oh. I don't even ask him why. He's like, pull that poster down. I'll pull it down. That's good. Yeah. So talking about marketing and branding, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I know uh, right now there are a lot of female DJs that look up to you. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a process of branding yourself as a female DJ? Mm-hmm. The competition is really tough out there. Yeah. So how do you, on your side, mm-hmm. how do you package yourself? How do you brand yourself mm-hmm. to be in a position where you'd be chosen over any other female DJ? You want me to give my secrets? No, it's yeah. not. In, in general. In no, general. Yeah. 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 In, in, in general. I'm kidding. Yeah. 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 Ingredient. Ingredient. Yeah. 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 Branding first. Uh-huh. Um, I call myself not your ordinary DJ. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first branding for me, I would say the first outlook, yeah. the presentation, how I dress for yes. certain events. You'll, uh, if you've seen my profile, yeah. when I'm going for a corporate gig, I dress like it's a corporate gig. Yeah. When I'm going to a club, I dress it. Yes. Uh, I, one is dressing. Mm. Number two is the skills that I have. Mm. Like I must have all the skills. Yes. I don't want any DJ to have skills that I don't know. Mm-hmm. So if I see even something online and all that, I make sure that I have the right skills. Yeah. Uh, I think those are the most important ones that I I, I work with. Mm. Yeah, unless I've forgotten something else. And, but and remember, no, I think she's, uh, she, she's right on the money, first yeah. of all. Uh, the first, I know she's a, she's a, she's a marketer Yeah. and she, she's a, she's a, I, I could say branding guru. You know how I know? Mm-hmm. First of all, look at her jacket, man. <laughs> and, uh, show, show us your nails. Mm-hmm. Now look, look what she did. Mm-hmm. You see what's up here in the jacket? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at the nails. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So right there already that tells me, okay, she knows what the fuck she's talking about. Yeah, she, she knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Because she, there's, there's thought that went into the nail, French manicure, yeah. the white accent, mm-hmm. even the highlight in the, in, yeah. in, in, in the hair. Already that shows you to somebody who takes pride in what she does or who she is and her brand or mm-hmm. her marketing. Because as a DJ or even as a singer, as, a, as a, any, any sort of performer, artist, yeah. Your image, your image is important. Yeah, right? even so, your physical outlook, the way you just yeah. step on the stage. Yeah, the first thing people are waiting to judge is how you look. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so if you look good, they will be like, "Oh wow, they can't even wait for you to mm-hmm. start." That's but right. But if you look, uh, exactly, and it, which, is, which is also why you, you've all heard the saying, "Never judge a book by its cover." Mm-hmm. I said that's bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> judge the motherfucking book by its cover now. Yeah. <laughs> The cup is dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The book is trash. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Judge, goddammit. So you you yeah. talked about your fir- your first gig was an event. Yeah. When was your first club gig? My first club gig, I don't really remember, but I remember the club. It was called Mojos. Mm, yeah. Yeah, Mojo's. I I actually approached one of the guys. You know, I kept on asking around who plans the gigs, who does yeah. this, who does this. I met the guy who was called Willy. I told him I can play. Actually, shout out to Willy. He's a DJ too. Yeah, a veteran in the industry. A veteran. Mm-hmm. All right, the guys, in final DJs. If yes. you guys remember these guys, final <laughs> DJ. Man, I remember right. they, they were big. Hey, big. Yeah. 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 was big. Shout out. So I told him I can play. You told me. You know, this is a big club mm. and we don't know you. Are you sure? I told him, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. He told me I will give you a chance to play from 4 to 5 p.m. Just one hour. Who is in the club for Nobody. Two, five the <laughs> staff. Staff. Yeah, the right. waitresses. Right. Right. I think he was testing me. I yeah. told him, fine, I'll do it. Oh. He told me next Friday, be here by 3. So Ooh. that you start at 4. Ooh. I kid you not, I dressed up and by three I was there. I called him, hey, I'm, I'm in the club. He's like, wait for me. Then at uh, 4.30, I told him, can I start playing? He's like, relax, I'm coming. So I remember he came late because he, he didn't believe. Mm. But I was so patient, I waited. Then I remember I played from five to six. Yeah. He told me you must play old school only. Mm-hmm. I played and I did a good job. Wow. It was like now, every Friday, I'll get you something small for transport. Mm-hmm. Uh, just be playing. Be here. Uh, five to six. Wow. I was like, it's okay. Yeah. I'll do it. 
that's that was my first uh, actually, well, let, let me, let, actually let me jog her memory first uh-huh. yeah. before mojos i really don't want to talk because i i saw <laughs> you her know, I, I, you know, so <laughs> her days. Okay. So i want her to give the story but before mojos uh-huh. there's a gig we did in kisu I don't know if you can remember 31st of 2017 turning to 2018. It was not 2018 to 2019. Ah, it was 2017 to 2018. Oh, oh yeah. Like, okay. Okay. Because, I don't know if she can remember. I, I can think, remember. <laughs> Let me give the story. But that time I'd started Mojo's because I think Mojo's uh, gave me that chance. Of Actually, play. Because, the, the reason I I'm asked, saying that was uh, because... Uh, 20, that New Year's was uh, my biggest first event exactly, yeah. to kill. Mm. Yeah. So I'd started uh, that Mojo's. Mm-hmm. So Mojo's was building my confidence, building my playlist yeah. and all that. Mm. Now remember, Mojo's was one of the biggest club then. Mm-hmm. So I started posting those posters. I yeah. kept on telling them, even if you don't earn me with the other DJs, just do a poster yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. I'll post. Then social media, I started marketing myself. I'm playing in Mojo's, but people don't know I'm playing for to vibe yeah. right. before people come. <laughs> so now there's these people in Kisumu, they say, hey, there's a girl. And yeah, I love it. And I just a Mojo's. Yeah, I, need her. Mojo's was yeah. now the club. Right. Uh-huh. So they called me for the New Year's yeah. event. Remember, I haven't done such a big gig. I told him, now by that time he had started training, I yeah. told him, eh, <laughs> you have to take me to Kisumu so that uh-huh. at least uh, where I go wrong, you try to correct me because mm. I really want to kill the show. Right. We went to Kisumu. I've never seen so many people expecting me like that yeah. day. Wow. They, it, it was like uh, that club, they used to set some seats outside. Now it became so huge that they had to close the street, no the way. old street. They had no seats. They were trying to hire from Different uh, places, other right. restaurants yeah. at night. So it became a street bash. No so way. they even started setting uh, my stage so that I can play outside. Now I'm test again. <laughs> Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm lonely. I only oh. have him. Oh my God. It's not uh, the other places that I have so many DJs. Right. I'm in Kisumu for the first time yeah. ever in my life. Oh, I've never been in Kisumu. Oh my God. Omera. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you know, when I stepped, um, everybody was now waiting for this girl. Oh, this girl. And you know how pictures make you look so huge. Yeah. And then I'm this just tiny yeah. little girl. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I am finished. So I called your Flex. I asked him, Eh, Abakuta and that day. Flex, I can be unona vile umepanga. I think with me, I just needed somebody to reassure me that right. you're good. Mm. you can do this. Mm. I asked him again, Are you sure? He told me, Ah, come on, I just have mojo zuku ni wapi. Ah, I told him, Fine. I sat at a corner, I composed myself, I told my, I told God, I mean, I've come all the way for the first time in Kisumu. These old people are waiting for me. I, I'm gonna do it. Nice. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I started playing, eh? In 20 minutes, eh? Everybody was up. Everybody yeah. was like, that girl, that girl. Now my trainer left me on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> left me on the deck. Was it intentional? No, yeah, it was. Oh, hey, it was because I was like, 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 <laughs> Gig imeshika. I train aka on easy kazi. He left na mwanako katikati ya na dan. Man. Imagine hata nimepoa microphone. I've never used a microphone yeah. again in my life. Sasa <laughs> there they are like everybody wants to hear your voice. Oh my I God. have never held a microphone. I had not trained. Oh. So the first thing I did was call him on the microphone. <laughs> Cho! Cho! <laughs> Help! Cho! And then I even shake him. Then he looked at me. He said, "How kopoa?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have to do. Right? <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, so I'm like, so I'm like, so I'm so I'm like, 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 so I'm
It was the latest gig Ever. until today. I remember it. Oh, wow. So I told myself, Sasa mm. ndoyo jo ashani ambia ni kopoa. Endele kopoa. Ni lendele. Endele. I played until morning. Yeah. I don't know ngoma zili toka happy, mm. but I killed the show. Hey. I don't think street may fungo kisuni like last year. Shout out to Joe Baba. Shout out to Joe. But how many of you are looking at me disappointed in again confidence? Yeah, but, but we had to actually. We had to present that stage <laughs> for you to grow by yourself. Right. But Joe. Something must kill a man. It was about to kill this guy. It was. <laughs> On that day. Well, in the hand and by fire by force, man. Oh. Hey. So, so yeah, that, was, that was planned. You planned that. You're basically here. You, Actually, you know, I can fly. He did not plan. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. He Don't lie. was so lit that uh, he got carried away. He was dancing. So he was having a good time. He was just having a <laughs> good time. They, they so I'm trying to call it. We, we are in Kisumu. <laughs> right. He's really having fun. I told him, you're supposed to be beside. <laughs> right. So that you help me because I've never been such a Right, you're my wingman. He told Come me, on. are you okay? You're okay. Yeah. You okay? So I'm like, how am I okay? Actually, <laughs> let me tell you. I saw the energy uh-huh. even before she stepped on on the stage. On the stage. Right. Hey. One thing she does not know is when she was actually seated, uh-huh. the club inside was so packed before they set the sound out mm-hmm. that people were coming in and they were being stopped. So being Kisumu, these guys became rowdy. They held the door. They shook the door. Actually, bricks were coming off. No hey. way. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Damn. And then, yeah. So the director was like, yo, what's up? Like, dude, there are a lot of people. So since I was outside, so the guy came out, and all of a sudden, I'm seeing sound being done here, and I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. like, what's are going we doing on? this gig out? <laughs> In no time, like 800 meters space, man. It was full, like, it was full, it just... was, man, it was, like, was that, was that a New Year's man. Eve? That was a New Year's Eve yeah, day? Yeah, that was, yeah, okay. was a New Year's. Yeah. So 2017 I... to 2018. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yo, so... And that was your first major gig That ever. was my first major gig. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I still remember yeah. it. You know, and I was just alone, this small girl from Nairobi, she's in Kisumu. Yeah. Kisumu For the first has, time. Yes. I don't know whether yeah. female DJs were not going there because I don't understand how they came. Mm. It was so full. They had it was a whole street bash. Wow, a whole yeah. street. So basically, but let me ask you this, uh, uh, Niku Lise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Lisa. How big are your balls? <laughs> Do I have? <laughs> Do I have? <laughs> Good answer. Because I mean, you know, the guts you 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 have. I mean, to to go from you know two weeks. Of, of uh, gig, training to this, a d- DJ to this. to this gig to the club and then now to this big thing in Kisumu. Well, how many how many people do you think they were were, were there? Like, it was like, I think it was like around two to three thousand two three thousand. Yeah. 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 It was packed actually. They the had to take seats really off the off. streets, man, and then to actually yeah. set yeah. the street. Yeah. 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 that's crazy. Yeah. Yes. It was a I whole concert. That's amazing. That. Do, do, yeah. do you have videos? I do have videos on my Google Drive. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we 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 Okosawa. Yeah. And I stepped off. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, me, I'm sweating there. Hey, hey. Job, no? But hey, you, but you, you did it though. Because Alini. of Nyash. Because of Nyash. Alini. 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 Are you sure it wasn't Nyash? No, it wasn't. It was Nyash. It was Nyash. I knew it. Was it. Was it. Was he was close. holding. He was holding somebody like this. Una choma. Chao. Chao. He was not even looking at Okosawa. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Uh, I've never forgotten. To, to never. No, but I think that, that that was a necessary one. Yeah. For, yeah, for where you are. It, it worked well. Yeah, it, it worked did. well for me. It really did. It, and also it, for it him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You know? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh man, that that's a good one, you know. Actually, yeah, it's that very is. interesting. You know, so that Just brings back memory. memories, yeah, good lot. memories, yeah. a lot. I mean, a lot good of stress. Memory. You oh, had a good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stress, good stressful time. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good time. Ooh, for me, yeah. Good time but for you. I, I, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I am that teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A few years later, we are here. There you go. We had to take one for the team. Exactly. Right, man. Shout out to that. Lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whoever you are, whoever you are, wherever Actually, you are. Yeah, t- talking about uh, the topic about uh, gigs outside Nairobi, you know, getting booked in different towns, mm-hmm. in different countries as well. Yeah. How how is that for you? Uh, how I feel about it. Or uh, how, yeah. How, how do you them? feel about it? How do you go about it? How I feel about yeah, it, feel I about really it? feel good. Mm-hmm. I love traveling. I love meeting different cultures. So for me, I, I love it. Yeah. In fact, I don't like playing at one place. Yeah. I love traveling. Mm-hmm. How I get them is, I think people before they call you, they do research. Yeah. Who is the top DJ? Mm-hmm. Uh, where has she played? Yeah. Uh, how is she? Mm-hmm. So most of the time it's referrals. So they're like, who want a female DJ? Mm-hmm. So they recommend, you are like, hey, I got your number or I've seen your socials. Wow. Um, according to what I post, so yeah. that's how I get gigs mm. like most of the outside, mm. like Nairobi and mm-hmm. outside the country. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk Dubai. Uh-huh. Dubai is home. <laughs> 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 I will give that to you. You love yes, Dubai, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Habibi. Habibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Habibi. Uh, Habibi. You know, it, it, Habibi. Yeah, the thing yeah. is, uh-huh. Dubai is one of those places, right? Yes. You think as well as you know, Allah Wagba, uh-huh. this is like, no, Dubai is lit, Mazze. Yo. You know, I can tell you some stories now after we shut the <laughs> camera. I'll tell you some stories. Nightlife, the music, the mm. club, in this, they invest in good sound yeah, systems. They do, yeah. I've never seen a place in Dubai with a crappy sound system. Uh-uh. Even the shittiest hotels, mm. yeah. there's a good sound system. Oh, yeah. What was your experience in, in Dubai? What, hey, what did you speak? Dubai is amazing. Yeah, yeah. so many times. Yeah, yeah. I'm always going back there. Uh-huh. They love me as well as hey. I, I love Dubai. Shout out to the Dubai people. Yeah. 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 Dubai Shout out. family. Yeah. Dubai. 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 So, so have you been asked uh, in uh, into marriage yet? I'm sure you've been asked multiple times in Dubai. Ali, <laughs> <laughs> Ali. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, uh, those guys are quick to pull the trigger. Hey, you know, come. I you haven't might gotten the Emiratis there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I hope they are watching. I haven't gotten. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go ahead, don't be shy. You can, you can tell us. Yeah, but um, definitely not even Dubai alone. Mm. Wherever I, I go to play, I, I, I don't know what's wrong. People try to hit on you every time. Yeah, of course. How is that? How is that? How does mm. it feel? Sometimes it feels bad. Sometimes it feels good. Mm. Uh, it feels uh, bad when somebody does not respect you and does not think that you're working mm. and they think you're just there drinking and all that. Mm. Then they approach you in a bad way. So it really pisses me off. Uh, right. It really pisses me off. Uh, I think um, you saw when Cardi B threw her microphone to someone, uh, yeah. I've never thrown something to someone. No. <laughs> yes, I was that pissed. Okay. No, yeah. Not even a drink uh, in their faces. I have done that. Yeah, uh, there you I go. I have done that, yeah. and I think there's a time I slapped somebody as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And shame yeah. on you. Man, then man, there man. are people who are very respectful. They will mm-hmm. come, they'll be like, hey, I, I, I love how you're mixing. I love you. I like you. And. Mm-hmm. If you don't mind, can I have your number? That's respectful. Yeah, like I will yeah. respect you. Absolutely. I'll be like, oh no, I'm 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 at work. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't give you my number, but you can enjoy my music. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be like, oh sure, fine. Yeah. And they will continue enjoying. I love those people. There you go. I can even follow you and give you my number. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I love when they there respect you go. somebody, but don't sure. come to me like. Just because they've seen a beautiful girl, they are now yeah. Yeah. a mean, big car and big money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, they are like yeah, I agree. Stuff. I mean, you see a lot of guys like that because you know they they have no they have no game really, and then no yeah. no and you know they don't have to respect drunk. you, right? Yeah, some are already drunk. Yeah. It's like they 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 lose their mind. Just True. Yeah. Them. Yeah, because so. yeah, alcohol gets to their minds, and then they lose their freaking minds. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was that was a good drunk uh, impression there. <laughs> With the finger, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they do. Some right. even touch the decks and do oh, all that. Man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. Mm. It's crazy when you're there. Yeah, which is why it's important to have security around. Uh, yes, I booth, do. Right? Uh, especially if I uh I don't know the club so well. I don't know where I'm playing. Right. I, I will walk with my security or when I get there. I will tell them, can you give me security? I need somebody besides me. That's right. Until I'm done. No, Boom. So if, if if I want to mingle with people, most of the time I'll be accompanied by a security because you don't know what these people are up to. True, yeah. yeah. If you have haters inside there, if yeah. you have people who love you. So most of the time, I actually have security with me. That's good. Yeah. So those of you, don't even try, all right? Because, uh, yeah, she's packing. <laughs> she's trapped. She's trapped. Yeah. Whenever there's no security, Joey's there. Joey's there. <laughs> but it's okay. Joey's, Joey's, Joey's in the crowd. Even though, yeah. 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 Joey's there. Yeah. 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 Tuko sawa. Tuko sawa. Joey na pigwa. Uko piti. Uko sawa. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Something, um, just, um, again, to mention, or what she's mentioned, yeah, mm. these people are high, yeah? Yeah. In a position, probably, this is for other DJs, in a position you don't get it's not everybody who gets a bouncer or security. Yeah. Yeah. Especially maybe for men. Mm. For women, especially me as a market, I try as much as possible yeah. to see the security is checked. Mm. But maybe for these other DJs, I've seen DJs who actually get super agitated. Yeah. It is okay. It's natural. It's human. Yeah. Right. But then again, I mean, the lesser alcohol as a DJ you take, mm -hmm. the yeah. better. Yeah, it's a better your ju judgment. Your yeah, your judgment will be much better to understand this guy is high. Yeah. So whatever he's saying or... You will be in a position to compose yourself. Exactly. But if you're both high, Ooh. Uh, it's like hell. Yeah. 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 yeah, especially you know that that yeah. male energy. It was yeah. like, yo, nigga, yeah. you disrespect, you disrespect me? Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. yeah. So my Bam. DJs, man, understand these people are high and these people are your customers. Yeah. They're actually yeah. there because they love you. Yeah. 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 So just understanding sometimes alcohol is alcohol. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you get reduced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People get rowdy. Well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even okay. even those. Those yeah. male DJs who are motherly, you can give them bouncers, you know? What? They are motherly. The DJs that they are what? They are motherly. 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 But I don't like so. Like, did, did you give us a direct translation right there? I'm a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. yeah. I've, just, I've just rounded it off. Okay. The nearest. Yeah, <laughs> 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 like, like, and like, like we said in the last episodes, mm -hmm. and we always repeat this: when you're getting too many requests, you need to work on your game, bro. Hey. You can't be in the club getting requests, man. You really need to work on your game. That's right. And once you're hitting all the joints, that you're people good to go. nobody will disturb you. They want him. They won't yeah. even have to ask for it because mm -hmm. it's already been played. Exactly, man. And they'd be curious to be like, oh, if he, she's played this, oh, he played this and this and this, mm -hmm. and then to go the right track. Mm -hmm. If you throw them off, they'd be requesting like, nigga, you don't know your shit. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. How's right. you play this? They will have to be there. Mm -hmm. But always when they come, you know, treat them good. These are your people, man. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, um, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> The Vinyl Space Podcast. This is the OG. This is DJ Joe Flex. The only MC in Kenya who went for a party with his father and came back with the mother. Mm. Talks in the MC. Bam. Sh hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> you need some breathers. Yeah. Hello. Apo kwa mother. Talks in the MC. Asawa. Sashere to buy me. Hey. Yes. And our beautiful guest. DJ listening, not your night DJ. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this this absolutely. is now this is the time where mm. we basically ask you to plug all your stuff. You you be a sharas, mm. you know what I'm saying? See na jua be a shara. Be a shara, all your stuff up up in upcoming events and all your social media uh, platforms. Of course, we'll put them in the description as well. So, uh, first of all, your businesses, what you got going on? My main business is Elite Sounds. So we do all the corporate concerts, weddings, all small events. Mm -hmm. um, that is the Elite Sounds. You can check on all uh, social media platforms. Is it elitesound.co.ke or .com? Yes. Uh, 
on the, the website. The website. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think our website is not really up. Eh? Okay. Just check us on social media. Social media. So yeah. IG. IG, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Um, Facebook. Facebook, yes. All right, We cool. are actually big on Facebook. Great. So we'll put yeah. the links in the description. Yeah, yeah sure. what else you got going on? Uh, the others, are, I, I wouldn't want them to know Sana. Okay. I, I'm okay. All right. Now you can support my YouTube. Uh, I, I record mixes there. I DJ listening everywhere. Nice. On YouTube, uh, go there on my YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then nothing else. Oh. Nothing much. That's pretty much it. So IG, all right. Yeah. DJ underscore Lisney. Yes. On IG. Yes. And uh, you are a professional DJ, accountant. Mm-hmm. Yes. TV host. Yes. And uh, director at Elite Sound. That, uh, Elite Sounds it K-E. Sounds K-E. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So we're, we're on it. Mm. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to blow up your um, social media. Thank so you. guys, just check her out. That's All right. Cool. Check out her mixes on, um, on YouTube. YouTube. And of course, you want TikTok as well? Yes. All right. Great. So we'll put that all in the description. Yeah. So now, what uh, words do you have for any DJ who's now upcoming who wants to get into the game? What What would you tell them? Uh, it's not an easy industry. <laughs> Come prepared. Mm-hmm. Um, also, you can make it. The cake is so big. Right. So come ready as well. Then, my friend, have skills. Hey, that's skills. dope. That's skills. dope. Skills, 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 skills you know, skills, of course. Yeah. Uh, you got to present yourself properly, good marketing, you know, your image, yeah. and most of all, skills. I mean, you can yeah. look great, but if you if you it's suck as a DJ, yeah. Yeah. then there you go. You so, run out of options eventually. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, you got to study your shit. You got to study the game, all right? Mm-hmm. So this is, again, the Vinyl Space Podcast. Yeah, we'll be back. The OG signing off until next time. You know, boom, booyah. This booyah. is DJ Joe Flex. Peace. The Toxic. Tom, man. Lizzie.